guys welcome back to another episode my name is mommy and today we're gonna check out a game called siege survival uh, gloria victus so this game comes out may 18 2021 and we're gonna play the game for half an hour to two hours or something until we can figure out whether or not we want to keep playing this game if you guys are interested in seeing my review of the game head on over to my main youtube all right so as a really quick uh, summary here a medieval city under siege and a handful of civilians are all that keeps the walls from falling. Mixing survival strategy and resource management, build your camp, craft supplies, and scavenge the occupied city to supply the last troops holding back the invaders. Interesting. Okay, let's let's try this game out. Um, so dude, it looks like this is a scenario editor. That's pretty cool. New story. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check this out. So there's a story mode. Looks like you have to play with these guys. So this is a tutorial. Quick starts, five to the first week to unlock more contents and more contents. Scavenger. All right, I guess we'll look at this later. So these are just different, uh, different scenarios and then custom. Huh. Wow, what a weird game. Okay. Once you finish your first week, try out the new challenges. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, there's an opening scene here. Nice, I like it. All right. Oh, that looks awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't find anybody. I'm gonna chop this flag down. All damn mature stuff coming through, boys. This kind of reminds me of a new game coming out. What the hell is it called? Uh, it's like something to Chivalry 2? No. Maybe. I don't remember. Oh damn, son! He dead. He going. Oh god, here it come, here it come, here it come. He's got the horns. Uh oh, oh no! Run! Get out of there! Ah! Oh, at least they didn't show it. Oh, the crunch, the crunch. Okay, so even though that was super up close cinematic, this game is tactical, right? Oh, all right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Sixth day of summer, the year is 20, 1205. We were just starting to harvest when the Izmar struck out of nowhere, catching us off guard. Horns of war sounded through Eirdring and the smoke-filled city. Uh, okay, so savage warriors from Kargalm has invaded our home. The town guard fought bravely, but the Izmars were too many. Before long, the raiders were in the main square. We sent out a messenger to summon aid. And the outnumbered guards focus on protecting us. Oh, they focus on protecting the, the citizens or the workers scavenging supplies. So I wonder if this actually matters right now if we're just making a story up. All right, let's play the good guy. Oh, we're going to help the citizens. Oh, they gather to help the citizens. The survivors found shelter. Those who can join, join the castle crew. Interesting. The bloodshed continued unba unbaited street by street. They prepared their war engine smashing. We thought things couldn't get any worse. When? Oh, a monstrous figure or the barracks were destroyed. Oh, let's get more interesting. We saw a gigantic figure. All right. We're led by infamous nameless champion. Oh, the guy here. It was terrifying. We all heard the tales of the huge northerners. In our hearts, we had abandoned hope. We took shelter in the keep and took stock of the situation. The castle was only uh, the only part of Edring still uncaptured. We have to stave off the enemy until relief comes. The bastion must hold. Oh man. I mean, they don't call it survival for nothing. Okay, this is interesting. Oh man. I'm excited to see what this game has to offer. All right, here we go. Move your character by left clicking at the desired location. You can move and rotate the camera using Wastine and Q and E. Okay. I like the looks of this. Uh, j just like the whole overall look in the camera reminds me of like uh, Divinity Sin original. Uh, Divinity, what's it called again? Uh, Divinity Original Sin Two. It's pretty cool. Flint. I'll let you know if I'm ever covering anything with the camera. All right, talk to this guy by the wall. Hey, what up, homie? Interact. You recognize the man before you. It's Bertram, a local carpenter. You're relieved to see he survived. It's clear, however, the events have scarred him in some terrible way. He just sits there. Oh no. As you check him for wounds, you notice him clenching a scorched doll. He lost his family. 
Oh man, maybe a war mill will help him out. We gotta build a fireplace first. With the debris around, we can help him. I right, prepare a war meal, find materials to build a stump. Here we go. Okay, so my name's character's Flint and I'm a worker. A worker. Hmm. So I wonder if this is real time. It has to be, right? This game looks really interesting so far. Uh, the items you've collected from the debris are in the center window. Mm -hmm. You can move them from the left and drag and drop to a common inventory. Or you can right click. So I can drag it in here. Or I can right click and go take. Alright, build a stump with sawhorse. Sawhorse. This is a sawhorse? Come on. Click. That's the storehouse. Where's the sawhorse? Uh, build a stump with sawhorse. Where's sawhorse at? I mean, it's clicking. Oh. Storehouse. Oh, oh. Storehouse. Here we go. So there's a stump with sawhorse. Allows you to process logs into firewood. Craft it. Build. Oh. All available constructions. Yes. Okay. Got it. So once you select properties on the right and you confirm it, you can build it. Uh, orange. If you wait, wait, any construction can be damaged in the exposed area marked orange. So this is the battle zone and this is the protected zone. It's a limited area. You have to decide which buildings to protect. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. Okay. So let's build the stump with a sawhorse and I don't know. I guess we'll just build it here for now. So we're going to be attacked into here. We can rotate the building here. I don't know where to build this thing. So I'll just put it here for now, man. I don't know what the, what the best strat is yet. So we'll just start with something basic, huh? Build. Oh, I have to go near it and press build. Sunny. Yeah, I think time is going to... Yeah. Okay, this is going to be real time. So this is going to be rough. Mm. I love real time RTSs. Though. One of my favorite that I've played recently. Um... They are billions. That game is nuts. If you guys haven't played that game, chop some wood. How do I chop wood? Chop wood. Let's see, where do I chop wood? Oh, maybe you chop wood here at the place itself. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so where you can craft new items, select the scheme, and then go. Some schemes have a few alternate ingredients. You can change the ingredient. Okay, so we can make, uh, we can get firewood, and we can get um. So ingredients to make firewood, ingredients to make planks, and the planks into firewood. What the hell? All right. Um. Uh, so craft some wood. I didn't say what kind of wood, so just craft it. Mm, looks like you go by threes. Oh, because I have two. So one makes three, so you can make six. But we'll do the one, right? It's crafting it. All right. I'm crafting the wood. Done. Find some raw food. Find raw food. It's going to be over here. Got to collect those resources. You can also hold right click as well. Um, okay, we got eggs. Fresh. Oh, these, they're going to go bad. Rotten food, materials, fibers. Take all. Build a fireplace using the storehouse. So the storehouse. Can this be destroyed then? I guess. I'm going to see these. Hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, let's go. So this uses uh, materials, just some random materials, and used to cook meals. Meals. Build. Once again, I'm just gonna put it all here because I don't know what the best course of action is yet. Uh, I guess we'll put it here. Build. I feel like this is gonna be a game that's gonna be really hard, and it's gonna it's gonna be all about trial and error, trial and error, and just finding the best strats. You know? Probably might die a lot. Make a meal using the fireplace. So there is. Oh, you make one meal, two meals, depending on that. So one meal equals one. So three firewood and one eggs make a meal. A nutritious meal. Three wood though. It's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. All right, man. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna make you this food, man. You're gonna be good to go. I helps. Return to Bertram. All right, he's still exactly where you left him. Yeah, this is his darkest moments. He barely notices, but you make him eat bite after bite. He falls asleep. Let him rest. His recovery would be so much better if he had a bed. You can uh, let's see. There's a secret passage leading to the city market. Was a man standing beside the gate leading to the bastion? 
talk to the soldier by the gate. This gate. I'm sorry, I got a little bit of a sniffles here. It's not sick, it's the goddamn allergies. Right, what up? Interact. The soldier standing is covered in blood, his eyes dim with exhaustion. Once he only once he speaks, you recognize Galvic, an experienced garrison member, known for his cordial attitude. He's stunned and speechless by the loss of his aunts. You must resupply before they attack. We need your help. Uh, let's see. We need arrows. How about the boyer's workshop in the city? Our lives depend on you. Oh man, the night has come. Interesting. What's this? Send a character to go outside. Flint. He's oh, so he has specific abilities. There's capacity, collecting, and capacity of the backpack plus. So I want to scavenge the city. You can scout, sleep, and sleep in a bed. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Um, that other game. Um, this War of Mine. You know when you send people out. Okay, here you can make all the preparations before going into the city. The map displayed shows the secret paths. Only one is available, but you'll find others. You'll start. You'll be able to start your night in different parts of the city. On the top right here, you can see the backpack. Everyone has different numbers. Think about what items you need during the scavenge and move them in. A torch might be useful. Okay. So his is backpack. So they say bring a torch. It can also be used to burn away rotting corpses. There's a context menu here. There's a torch. I don't know if you need to bring food or anything. There's not really... I don't know. I don't know what to bring. Um, I'm just going to bring this for now because I don't know. So there's inactive passage. So this is the selected passage. Start scavenging. Let's we'll go for it. Okay. So is this a mini game or an auto? Oh, I'm actually out. You've entered the despoiled city below. Move faster by double clicking. Running is louder. And this is a city under occupation. Marketplace. Go back to the castle. Hmm. Oh, it's stuck on me. The character's stuck on me. What am I even looking for? I don't know where to look. So find materials to make a bed, wood cloth, fibers. Hmm. I don't know if it's gonna be easy to spot. I can't move the camera around, I'm stuck on my character. There it is, collect resources. <laughs> Sorry. Fiber is wood. I need cloth now. There's more. What's that? Interact. All right, grab the resources. Da, 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 da. Materials and wood. Well, we need cloth. I don't know, cause this is like it. You need a shovel to remove this. Interact. This is weird. This is scary. Go back to the castle. Vegetables are eating fresh until they're picked from the ground. Of course. Come on. Still need the cloth and I need the arrows. Whatever, run, dude. This is tutorial. Probably won't get caught. Uh, valuables and wood. Uh, I'm gonna keep going until we find the cloth. Fibers, greens, and herbs. Uh, let's see. Materials and wood. Wow. <laughs> Not much. Huh? What's this? This is a map. Oh. Oh, I'm here. Wow. Ooh, this is pretty neat. North orientation. Yeah, I wish the map was like here on them. I can see. Oh, dang. I remember I'm running out of room. Just realized. I wonder if like picking stuff up and leaving it is really bad. I'm out. Firewood. I have a lot of wood already. Guess we can leave the, the rot. Can also be used to burn away rotting corpses. We'll leave the wood for now. Is there a specific? Oh, look, rotting corpses. Might as well try it out, right? Torch. Yeah, it's burning. Look at this other stuff down here. Slightly tired, fed, thirsty, healthy, fit, sad. He's sad. All right, let's see. It's a really interesting game. Uh, valuables and stuff. So because we got rid of the torch, we could pick that wood, right? 
More wood. Damage light armor can be repaired at the workshop. Yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. I want that. Oh, man. Can I just eat this? Can I, did I eat it? Use. Can I just eat it now? I want to eat it. What's this say? Backpack. I want to bring it. I can't eat it. Maybe because my character is not hungry. Yeah, I don't know what we're looking for. M. Is there a specific one? Active passage, blocked path. So I'm going this way. There's an event. This is pretty cool. Um, search for arrows. Cloth! I tell I had too much wood. Alright. We should find the buy the buyer's house. Whatever, what's this? Inactive passage. I don't know what the burr's house is. It just says events. 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 Uh, maybe it's just one of the events. I don't know. What happens if I click here? You approach the city gate. It's convenient. You need a key. I can't. Okay. Another key. Okay. Let's go try this place. Can I just click over there? Okay. Mock at the place. Okay. I don't know if it's a bad thing to, like, you know, search everything. Nice. More cloth. Hmm. Click on the resource. More wood. Okay, where are we at? We are right here. I can't get past there. Because the freaking blocked by a shovel path. Oh, this is where we started. Okay, let's go down here. Boyer's house! Event, event, Boyer's house. It's right below us. Um, I think, like, it doesn't say, like, where I'm facing here. I have to, like, look at this and be like, okay. This is the orientation I'm looking at. Find the Boyer's house. You found the workshop. You need to find arrows. Can you you spot a flash in the dark? Arrows, they're all yours. Uh oh, pain shoots through your body. A dislodged beam. Uh oh. A bo uh, a boyer's corpse have been taken down. She is sobbing, exhausted. She risked her life to cut her son down and bury him. She hurt herself with the axe under his belt. Take the axe and bury her corpse? I don't know what the best course of action. <sighs> <laughs> Let's play the good guy. We'll bury, help bury. She gives you a small stick. Boo! I want the axe. <laughs> All right, I gotta get the bundle of arrows here, so I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Guess we'll leave the carcass piece, man. I don't know how like bad food is. My character's huff. I'm I'm wounded. Requires bandage and rest. Bandage and rest, eh? Bring the arrows back to the castle. Hmm. Uh, we can search for one more thing, right? Maybe we can connect it to something. Return to the castle. As night turns to day, your easily visible patrols will be sent to your location soon. Scavenging exhausting work, and they might not run from the guards. So it's Oh, you can see here the time. There's a time limit. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. This game is so stressful. That's tight. Oh, go. Oh, I thought we could run anytime we want. We have to get back to our original position. No. <laughs> Dude, okay, this game has a lot of mechanics, man. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. Whew. The night was calm, but the enemy assault can come in any day. I have a stick, so we're lucky, Kappa. Send arrows. So is the time moving? The time is moving here. I gotta hurry. It is moving. Okay, uh, talk to Bertram. Okay, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Come on, man. Talk to Bertram. Is my character hurt? Uh, the carpenter has recovered from the shock and ready to rejoin the fight. It was Flint, right? I oh, remember you visited. We should take care of the animals. Find fresh water. Clear away the debris. And we can repair it. You've unlocked your second character. Press the tab key or left click. You can order them to complete different tasks. But you need to take care of their needs. Each character has different strengths and weaknesses. Um, send an arrow to Bastion. What's this? What is this? Is the arrows? Keep. Sebastian? <laughs> Alright, clear the debris block in the wall. Is this the debris? Alright, let's grab all the resources. I'm, I, I don't know if you can shift click. I hope you can. I tried. You can build beds. 
to make sure you get better rest. Also faster recovery. Also give them bandages or medication if it's serious. Character will only get back on their feet with the combination of rest and healing items. Build a new bed. Cloth, wood, and fibers. Who's building the bed? Oh, oh, this is a workstation I clicked on. Oh, let's grab all the stuff. We should grab all the crap around here. What's all this stuff? Pantry? Take everything. Come on. There's a rummage. Flint is wounded. Make a makeshift bandage. Did he finish building the bed? Wounded. We got a new character in the castle. Yes. Craft more arrows. Oh, Bastion. You can see the reports about upcoming enemy assault. Sometimes you'll need to scout behind enemy lines to get more information. Keep the Bastion strength the highest possible. Use the screen to pass supplies to the Bastion. It will be packed and transferred by the active character. Also check the defender's needs every day. Here you can ch so these are just like a bunch of other characters. Here you can check out how the defense is going. You can see the remaining defenders. Your ultimate task is to keep the Bastion well prepared. Send arrows. So this is the garrison. Is time moving? Okay, no. Our supplies. Here you go. Send to Bastion. Two arrows. Oh, the damage goes up. Arm armament. Armament assault. Oh, so we got swords, axes, arrows, bows, armors. This is how many people, wounded, sick, morale is high. Bastion itch issues, not enough melee. So this is the enemies, this is ours. So if we do this, we'll be pretty much one plus of them. So I wonder how crazy that is. Send it to them. All right, let's keep uh, grabbing all the resources. Okay, so this guy's sending to the Bastion. So this is the Bastion, right? He's sending it. Okay, so this guy needs to do this. Grab everything, makeshift bandage. Bandage. Who's hurt? This guy's hurt. Well, we'll fix him up later. So he's descending it over there. He's sending. Uh, go grab everything. Select the resource. Uh, we need to get some tired. He's sleep. How do I open up our supplies? What's this? Herbal medicine. Okay, cool. Our supplies. Don't I pick up a bandage? Use. Hope that helps. My wound looks bad. Where is he going? Where's the supply station? Oh, he's going over here. Okay, here is the interact with this well. Okay, it's been crushed. There's no way to clear it. Uh, you might find some potable water in the market. Oh, no. Search the city for clean water. Is this guy healing himself? I should get some sleep. Bad condition, work efficiency decreased. What's this? Keep. It's glowing, so I should click on it, right? Um, what does the keep do? Ah, uh, build a bed. Build that bed. Collect resources. Hen house. Pigsty. So this is where you keep our food, and this is where you keep your other stuff. Greens, fibers, firewood. Wonderful. Remnants of the past achievement. No rest for the wicked. I built it. Sleep in the bed. I'll sleep in the bed. Go ahead, sleep in the bed. Okay, so he's sleeping. He's very tired. So he's resting. Now this guy can do whatever. He's just sad. Depressed. Alright, now what should we do? Let's, let's go look at the chickens. It's green here and it's blue here. Green? Maybe we can just collect the item. Maybe it's eggs. Yeah, eggs. Do I need to do anything? You can, um... They can be very useful alive. Well-fed chickens. Feed the animals. Cook the edible food for them. And drag and drop in the slots. The bar on the right shows how much sustenance. They will use it when they get hungry. If you run out of food, you can kill them to get meat. But, you know, a little bit. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Feed and rotten food. Fodder fresh. Oops, not you, you fool. Click on the hen house. All right, you guys get a little bit of this. Kill. <laughs> All right, feed him. So this guy's still resting. I don't know how much you have to rest. So there you go. Let's feed the piggies. Feed the piggies. Oh, this guy can eat a lot of stuff. I right, will eat the fodder. Very hungry. Oh, you can see here. Oof. Chewed to kill hunger. Oh, man. 
Oh, man. Oh, God. All right. Um, rummage. All right, this guy's still sleeping, so let's go over here. I don't know. Let's just click on everything until it hits night, right? And then once it hits night, I guess we search for potent water. Flit is wounded. Eh, he's... He's using a bandage, right? Is he using a bandage? I think he is, because it's not here anymore. My bandage. Okay, we're rummaging through this. La -da -da. Okay, so this is the keep. This is herbal storehouse. Upgrade the building to make crafting cheaper and get access to new schemes. Craft, they can craft that here. Drain water, pantry, green and herbs cook some stuff and stump with sawhorse so I don't know I really don't know what we need yet so it's just going with the flow whatever the um whatever the, the tasks are in the top left I guess economy summary storehouse oh so you can see what we can make where clean water so we can get water here interesting items Items. Wood can turn into this. Materials. Nice. So it's a nice little, um, you know, thing. Fertilizer, vegetables, crafting. Are these everything unlocked or at the moment? Looks like everything you can do. Okay, pretty cool. Alright, hold up. Uh, my computer's going crazy here. Is this game not optimized? 40 CPU usage. Keeping an eye out of here. It's not too bad. I am like recording at the same time, so it's a little high. 40 CPU, 60 GPU. All right, what's going on? Okay, this guy's lightly wounded and thirsty. He has a high backpack, so you're gonna scavenge the city, buddy. I'm sorry. And you, I don't. I can't scout. Can I have more people? I can't have one guy scavenge. Lightly wounded. Uh, you know what? If he's slightly wounded, we'll let him do that. I don't know how bad that is, but whatever. Okay, so I don't have anything to bring. Yeah, I have nothing like out there, so let's just go. Yeah, okay. Maybe they're gonna teach me a combat now. Okay. You are entering the marketplace. Where am I? I'm right here. I'm at the burn. So I'm gonna orient this so it's the same as this. Okay, so so look at this. This is all blocked. So we can check out the event though. Let's go check that out. Find clean water. Collect items that will help the soldiers. I think they wanted what? More swords and stuff. More melee items. All right, we got some food. Wonderful. So the Bastion. Do, do they only want like fighting items? Maybe they don't want food. Collect resources. And we got oh, a lot of water. Hell yeah, five more. Um I don't know if I want to click on this. Let's see. It'll probably send me back out anyway. Alright, there's a gate where the high city used to be. Can you clear a passage? The rubble is compressed and blocked by ceiling beams. Oh no. Interact. Alright. So I doubt there's any enemies right now, so let's keep going. So until we get a shovel, I can't break this stuff. So yeah, I think... Oh man, I got my fist only. Let's see here. So yes, rubble. So I'm blocked to here. Wonderful. A little bit of wood. Come on. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. More water, hell yeah. Take the clean water to the castle. Yeah, all right. After we collect all this other crap, you mean. It'd be dumb to leave this quick. I'm the handyman. Look at that, some more herbs. So it looks like this respawned or it stayed there. If it stayed there, I don't know what I'd left. That one's glowing, why? That's interesting. Vegetables. Wait, I, I left those vegetables there. Oh, man. Maybe stuff we left are still there, but then new things spawn. Definitely new things spawn, right? A shovel. Oh, nice. 
Very cool. I can look around now. What's this? So, is that a weapon or something? Uh, huh. I wonder if the game's gonna, like, the, the thing's gonna end. The tutorial. Oh, no. Look at the vegetables again. <laughs> can you eat it? Just take the water. It only stacks to 10. Alright. Well, there's vegetables here. A passage. There's an event here. I kind of want to go up right. So how about we go break this path here? Because using the shovel, it might end up breaking the shovel. So it might give us another room. A piece of room here. I don't know. Wood. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's safe until we leave this area. And then we're going to start seeing enemies. Is there combat in this game or is all managing? Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Let's keep playing. It's pretty interesting. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Demolish. Ah, oh, damn. Enemy patrols the city at night. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. Alright. Main undetected with green. Stay in their field. They become aware. And if it's red, fucking run, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, dude. Are they coming this way? Oh, man. So, look at this. So, it looks like they might go around this way. There's an event here. We don't have that much time left. I'm going to have to try it another night. So, yeah, my uh, my shovel is gone. So, that's good. We opened up a path. Woo. Speed up. Makes more noise. Dirty water? Gross. There was more wood here I can grab. Alright, we're out of here. It's gonna hit morning soon. Cool. What's this? Improvised shovel is broken. It's full. Awesome, awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back to the castle, man. Alright. We must get ready for the worst. The enemies are preparing to attack. Start a new day. Alright, game is saved. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot for having your sub reader for daily videos. This game has more to offer before we do a review, so I'm gonna do another episode. So, uh, see you in part two. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.